And here comes the boys. Let's hear it for the boys. Ma'am, could you please introduce yourself? I am Alison Abraham Duncan, the principal of Monipo RC School, also the chairperson of the Victoria Education District National Primary Schools Network League. Ms. Duncan, what's happening here today at Pleasantville Indoor Complex? This morning, we are hosting the opening of the Victoria Education District National Primary Schools Network League. It began at 10 a.m. this morning with a parade of 20 teams. 16 girls march past teams and four boys teams. Who were the winners? In first place in the girls, we have Monaco IC School. Second place, Claxton Bay Senior AC. And third place, Laramie IC School. And with the boys, we have Monaco IC School coming first again followed by Claxton Bay AC and in third place San Fernando Methodist. Ms. Duncan, we're talking about boys playing their ball. That's it. Unheard of in the world. Well not really unheard of. The National Primary Schools Netball League is encouraging boys to participate and Victoria Education District is the pioneering district with the boys netball. So this is the second year that we are having boys involved in netball. Are the boys involved in the same thing? They are not yet involved, but that is something that we would like to pursue. But are your girls involved in the teacher class netball division? Some of our girls are involved because we have many students who are part of the... We have many students from different schools, Monaco, RC, St. Clements, Vedic, to name a few, who are part of the Future Stars. And we intend to partner with the Future Stars to get our boys on board as well. Ms. Duncan, one more thing. There's a game in progress now. Could you tell us what is happening there in the issue? Certainly. This is the first of our two exhibition matches. It is taking place between the girls of the Claxton Bay Senior AC School and the boys of the San Fernando Methodist School. It's just a five-minute half, followed by a short break and a second five-minute period. This match will be followed by the second exhibition match which will be the boys of the Sanford, of the Claxton Bay sorry, Senior AC versus some of our teachers and coaches. So we look forward to that. Okay, go ahead. This morning we had several dignitaries in our midst. We had the school supervisor too, Ms. Amelia Hussein from the Victoria Education District. Three school supervisors, one, Mr. Devanan Maraj, who is the supervisor in charge of netball in Victoria. We also had Mr. Royden Rampasad and Mr. Vijay Jagu present with us. We had from the Ministry of Sport, acting as a judge for this morning's March Pass, Ms. Sherry Ann Blackburn. We had from the National Netball League, Ms. Denise Cayenne. From the National Primary Schools Netball League, the Secretary, Ms. Rafina Budu Singh. And from the San Fernando Netball League, the President, Ms. Lucy Regis. They were all here with us this morning, as well as several principals from the Victoria Education District. So when does the real action start? The tournament actually begins in May, 
after SEA is over. The 9th of May is our scheduled start date and we intend to be finished by the end of June. This year Victoria is also hosting the National Primary School's closing ceremony which will take place around the first week of July. Thank you, Ms. Duncan. You are most welcome. you are going to witness it's an exhibition match it's a combined teacher coach teacher slash coach team from all the primary schools and we have the netball team that represents Victoria primary school children who participated in netball matches in the 2013 games and they showed a lot of promise and potential and they were gathered together to form one representative team for Victoria. It is hoped that the Victoria Primary School netball team will play matches against other netball teams from the other educational districts and the teachers at present have Possession, however, possession, and Miss Anne Phillip from Monrepo RC is making a t attempt at a shot, however she missed, and possession will go to the, and we have Miss Castaneda <laughs> coaching from the sidelines. So the teachers have possession. Miss Ann Phillip has the ball. Mr. Robin Dean. Mr. Robin Dean. <laughs> Lots of fancy arm work. We need you to sink the basket, Mr. Dean. So, uh, and Miss Ann Phillip, and she scores. 
blowing the match, Miss Daystar Philip Swift, Miss Daystar Swift, PE to the teachers, Mr. Dean has it, then Mr. Purcell back to Mr. Dean, looking for Miss Philip, Miss Philip hits it out of, no, not Miss Philip, that's not it. So the children have it, ooh, stolen away by the teachers. I'm here. Possession passes to the teachers. Mr. Dean to Miss Philip. Children have it. And it's coming down the court. Children retain. Very good. Excellent. Stolen away. Mr. Dean to Mr. Purcell. <laughs> Into Miss Philip. And she scores. Purcell committed an infringement. He has to remain standing at the side. All right, the children have it. All right. And the children still have it. And they still have it. And there's an infringement. For the money. A long pass to Mr. Dean, and the students have it. Woo. Ooh, Mary got it back. Mr. Pusa has it, back to Mary. <laughs> infringement, infringement, no basket, the whistle blew. No basket. No goal, sorry. And the students have possession now. Back to the teachers. And the score is now 3 0. Half time. Four now.